Hi, I'm JD, and in this video, what I want to do is to show you the connection between foiling and factoring. So, if you would, what I want you to do first is I want you to foil this, foil this out, do all the steps, simplify it, and then what I want you to do is I want you to factor it. Now, do all that and see what happens. Pause the, pause the video. All right, by this time, you should have this problem all worked out. Now on top of that, you have it, you know, you foiled, you simplified, then you factored again. What you should have found is that what you began with is what you start, what you ended with is what you started with. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to just basically show you the steps and what I told you to do. Because there's a connection between foiling and factoring. Now, this, let's go over foil. That's F stands for first. You have the outer and the inner. So that's those. And then this is the last. So you have your F. Your oi, right? Your oi, and then your last. Now, once you figure out how this works, then it's a way to check yourself. The first is x times x, which is x squared. The o is x times negative 3, which is negative 3x. Negative 2 times x is, yeah, negative 2x. And what's negative 3 times a negative 2? Because that would be your last. Right, it's plus 6. And then you simplify it. So when you simplify it, you get x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now notice something. This is from the first. This is from your outer plus your inner. I don't know, it might be a little small. And this is your last. So when you do set up, and I'm going to show you in a sec, you factor this, right? When you factor this, you're actually going backwards. When you foil, you're going this way, and then when you factor, you're going back up. They're opposites of each other. So this right here, you know, let's do trial and error. So you think through factors of six, okay? Factors of six, and since it's plus, you're looking for a sum. If it was minus, you'd be looking for a difference. So it's sum. So I have six times six times one and I have three times two and I'm looking for a sum that will give me five two plus three gives me five so this would be three and this would be two now this is x squared what times what times what what times what <laughs> will give you x squared yeah x times x. Now what signs go here and here? Well this is plus so it's either going to be plus plus or minus minus because you're multiplying this and this. Since you're multiplying it you know that if they're the same if, they're, if it's positive the result then it's the same sign. So it either has to be plus plus or minus minus. You look at your middle term has to be minus minus. And then a way to check yourself, since you're purposely setting it up for the first term, you already did that, the x times the x, and then you did the 3 times the 2 already, all you have to do is check the middle term. So if I check the middle term, well we know it's the same, right, because we went both um, with the foiling and then we factored 
But let's say that we were just told to factor this. Well, you already did x times x. So you don't have to check that. You already did that. You have the negative 3 times the negative 2. You set it up for that. Now what you want to do is check the middle term. So you have x minus 2, x minus 3, the inner and the outer, right, the nose and the smile foil. You have negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, and then the outer would be negative 3x, and when you add those together, that gives you your middle term negative 5x. So that is connection between foiling and factor. So if you would, uh, that's it.